Tennis is 90% mental, as quoted by Jimmy Collins. So, I guess the remaining 10% is physical. With that in mind, let's learn some of that 10% from Marton Fustovic. Yes, let's get you trimmed. But we will begin with Futox. Fustovic has strategically placed cones all over the court, creating a dynamic obstacle, cause of sorts. Why? Well, imagine this, a real match, in a real match, you are not just running in a straight lines, you are darting side and up, inside to side, moving forward to the net, and then backpedaling in a flash. Cons will make this varied movement, helping players to work on their footwork and agility in a way that mirrors the actual demands of a tennis match. But why not just hit the court and practice those movements with other cones? You ask, or you tend to ask, right? Great question. So, the cones add an extra layer of challenge and precision. Think about it. You are aiming for a cone. You are not just mindless going through the motions. You are focused on accuracy, which results beautifully to the court. Your brain starts to connect the dots between you and where you want to, your feet to be, to go, and where the ball is headed. It's like a tennis-specific spe puzzle for your brain and body to solve. The cons can be customers in a specific uh, training goals. Fuchis isn't just scattering them randomly. He's crafting drills that target specific movement like explosive starts, quick stops, and rapid changes in direction. This means players can fine-tune their weakness, got a bit of trouble with the lateral movement, yeah, set up cone drills at home and holes in that. You need to improve your quick sprint at night. Guess, yeah, you guess it. Cone drills, it's cone drill times. By moving around the cones while hitting the ball, you are uh, giving a foot talk, a serious workout. Tennis is all about agility and quick direction changes. Hitting the ball while navigating the cones sharpens your hand eye coordination. You are not just focusing on the ball, you are also calculating your steps adjusting your distance and planning your shots. It's uh, like a tennis brain teaser that keeps you on your toes. You can all see, see him swinging the medicine balls around the court. It's, like, it's a purpose, purposeful training technique aimed to elevating his game in a way that regular ground stock practice alone couldn't achieve. It's all about building strength, refining protocol control and adding a touch of challenge to keep things Interesting, uh, I guess, building explosive movements. Yep, also into taking care of his heart health through something called a treadmill exercise, ECG test. Now, you might think, why should a fit and active guy like Macron need to test, need this test? You see, even though he's a pro athlete, heart health is something that matters to everyone. The treadmill exercise, ECG, uh, helps to assess how well your heart, his heart is working and at stress when he is running on the treadmill and his heart rate goes up, the test can pick up uh, regularities or issues that might not be noticeable when he is just chilling. The test is not just about catching the problem, it's also a way to fine tune his training routine. Think about it, a tennis player, he needs to a ton of stamina and endurance. By analyzing his heart response, the exercise his medical and team can tailor his workout to make uh, to make sure he is building up the right kind of cardiovascular fitness. It's like uh, having a personalized a roadmap to your health, healthier heart. And let's not forget about the physical aspect. Sure, uh, sure he might be physical fit, but even athletes can feel the pressure and stress of competition. This test can give him a peace of mind knowing that his heart and can handle the demands of tennis training and high stake matches can boost his confidence and help him focus on what he, he does best. He also spices up training routine with various cardio workouts like stationary biking which is like a dynamic duo for him. It's a long impact exercise that gives him a joint, a break uh, while still boosting his cardiovascular endurance plus it's a killer leg workout which is for his explosive movement on the court. 
He also does rope skipping. Well, that's not just how for the playground. It's a fun way for Moton to work on his footwork, connection, and agility. It's also a great way to get his heart pumping without needing a whole lot of space. Perfect for when he's uh, is on, on the go. And then there is running, the classic cardio workout. Running is not only builds his stamina, but also strengthens his mental game, pushing through the last mile. That's a mental toughness in action, something every athlete needs. So, what's the secret behind this explosive forehand? It all starts with his body mechanics. Fuchis explodes a full unit turn, which means he rotates his entire body to face the net before hitting the shot. This sets the stage for what's to come, loading up his legs, the strongest muscles in the body. He accumulates a significant amount of kinetic potential energy. This stored energy in a key, uh, is a key to his power. When the moment is right, Fuchis um, uncalls his energy in a controlled yet dynamic manner. He initiates the sequence of firing his knees, followed by his hip, abs and shoulder, and eventually, eventually his arm and wrist. This sequential activation of muscles is like a chain rotation, a reaction, sorry, that culminates in a whip-like motion through, through his arm, translating into a maximum power. What's interesting here is that he does not have the exact excessive muscles set in his arms and shoulders because the kinetic chain takes care of the power generation. It's a smart way to play tennis using the body natural mechanics to achieve efficiency and conserve the energy. You can think of this as a revolving door. His body momentum becomes driving force behind the shot, sparing his muscle muscles from unnecessary strain. This approach not only enhances power but also but also allows him to play long and maintain consistent performance throughout a match. Now, let's talk about his grip. Fushis um, uses a slightly modified Western grip, blended between a traditional Eastern forehand grip and a standard semi-Western grip. This choice gives him the best of both worlds, control and toss speed. With this grip, he can easily adjust his shots depending on the situation and then adding versatility to his forehand. One a uh, standing standard aspect of his Fuchi's phone is ability to take the ball early. This is a strategic advantage. By doing so, he shortens his swing, making it easier to time the incoming ball accurately. It's like meeting the ball in a, an optimal point, giving his opponents less time to react. And now, to his upper board, he uses the resistant band. The, res the bands create a variable resistant that en engages muscles in a new and dynamic ways. This helps him to build strength and stability, which is a vital, vital for power and control shots on the court. You can also uh, see he, do, he does some amazing ball throws while jumping. This explosive movement isn't just about looking impressive, it's about transmitting power and agility from the ground up. By connecting the jumps with the amazing ball throws, he's tapping into his lower body strength and harnessing its uh, harnessing it for a killer upper body workout. Also, he adopts a landmine exercise with a barbell, which might seem unconventional for tennis player. But these moves all are all about building functional strength and rotational power. He mixed up some dumbbell curls. This curls are careful talent to enhance his forearm, wrist, and strength. Key players, solid, uh, key players in a solid tennis game. He turns to a TRX suspension this special trends not only builds his strength, but also improves his stability and balance. Two factors that can make all the difference during those fast paced uh, rallies. One thing that really stands out in his impressive uh, physical build, almost like a bodybuilder, and he doesn't let the power to go west. His backhand game is on fire. Starting with the green's grip, impeccable. Both hands are locked in, in a really upward action. But the, a little magic happens when he unleashes the shots. He got this slick move called the unit turn, where he, uh, he twists his upper body and hips with lightning speed to get the, into position. It's like 
is teleporting into a perfect stance. Now, here's the cool part. His arm is just chilling until the forward swing. It's all about timing. He loads up all the potential energy and when it's go time, bam, his backhand can go through and control rally shot to a flat out cannonball that leaves opponent stone. And don't even get me started to his extension and lift combo. When he lift, he, he hints, sorry, that shot, it's like a double whammy. He stretched like that arm like a rubber band while giving it a little lift, creating this wicked penetrating force that can grip through any defense. Setting his core isn't just about planting, it's a six pack. It's about creating power, stability, and preventing injuries. Those explosive serves, letting quick returns and agile count movements all rally on a strong core foundation. Fuchis um, understand that a killer tennis game starts from, from the center, making those abs work out an integral part of his routine. That's why he is all in when it comes to abs workout. Fuchovic opts for a modified Eastern grip when he serves. What does that mean? Well, it means that he holds the racket in a way that, can, that gives him a more spin on the ball compared to outright speed. Think of it as, as a, giving the ball a bit of a spinny twist as it takes off from, from his racket. This can be a sneaky advantage because the spin can mess with the, the timing of his opponents and give him a bit more room of form errors. The ball's tra trajectory becomes a bit less predictable due to sp the spin and, can, and that can make a huge difference in a match. Now, one of the, the things that sets his serve apart is his internal arm rotation, or in a simpler term, how much his arm twists as he is, a, is about to hit the ball. This is where things get interesting. You see, the amount of arm rotation affects the kind of shot you can deliver. In this case, he doesn't get a ton of external arm rotation to put some numbers on it. He's at about 80 degrees of rotations of rotation. Now compare that to some of legendary, legendary servers like Sampress or Rodic, who uh, could get up to 100 to 120 degrees. Um, so why does it this matter? It um, impacts the kind of spin he can put on the ball and the variety of shots he can produce. While he might not have the most extreme rotation, he's managed to work with what he is not quite uh, effectively. Now, let's talk about underrated aspect of his serve. Sure, it might not just uh, about uh, most uh, flashy or powerful, but it is incredibly reliable. Fuchis manages to get a high percentage of, of fast serve in and is, uh, and is that's valuable asset. But what makes it even more interesting is that he, that he adds a good amount of spin to his serve. That spin makes the ball more challenging to time, um, to time for his opponent. It is a time to catch the ball that's spinning unpredictable, a real headache for everyone on the receiving end. And remember, that spin also provides a buffer for a slight mistake he make, he might make in a serving motion. And it's not just a first serve that benefits from the spin, which is also a solid second serve game. 